This is my Dandy Trickler Control, uh, intended to be mated with the FX120i. It is powered with a 9 volt Volvort here. This is the USB for programming. On the other side is the cable that goes to the scale. There's a switch here, which uh, in this position it's for a straight through cable, and in this position it's for a no modem cable. And that is the output to the Dandy. I had to add that cable to the Dandy, which was not a, not a big deal. The wool wart plugs in there. That is the screen, the startup screen. It shows the last powder that was selected. But in this case, it's long stick. I arbitrarily chose four different powder types, which would be ball, uh, flake, short stick, and long stick. I figured most powders would fall into one of those categories. I have five pages of instructions. This asterisk is for settings. This is where you can select the powder type, say ball, flake, short stick, and long stick. Uh, the first column is the frequency. These are the relative speeds. This is the duty cycle percent and then de and the delta. The delta is uh, an example if you are, let's see, if you're greater than five grains away from your target weight, it will run at 100% speed. If you're, be if you're greater than one, or greater than or equal to one and less than five, it'll run at 80%. If you're greater than 0.4 and less than one, it'll run at 65% and so on. Uh, if you're less than 0.1 in this case, it'll run at, at the very slow speed, which is 6%. Um, to get an idea of how the powder flows, I included a test mode, which is you click on the fast, and it turns to test, and here you can run the dandy without the scale at these different settings to see how the behavior of the powder flows. Um, so if you click on the duty cycle box, like in this case, it's 80%. You can hear it, I suppose. This is... That's at 80% and 2 hertz. It's... 20% and that's 6% as an example. If you click on test again, it will stop. If you want to change your numbers, just to see how things behave, you just click on the box. When it's in the settings mode, you can't change the numbers if you're in the test mode. 
but if you wanted to change that to say 50%, you just click 50 and then hit save. Every time you change a number, you have to hit the save. Um, then you can go back to the test mode and try the 50%, which you can hear. If you go to, let's see, short stick I had arbitrarily set for eight hertz. 60% at 8 hertz. That's 30%. And that's done playing around with trying to get your numbers where you want them you just click anywhere between medium and v slow it'll take you back to the main screen